Is this abuse to you? Yes, absolutely. It's abuse. I immediately wanted the business to be shut down and immediately wanted to press charges. But when we picked the dogs up, she absolutely made us think that she was connected with law enforcement. Uh. She was talking about training with the cops. And my husband and I, as we were practicing with our dogs with her, we said, come here. And she said, no, you don't say come here. You just say here. And she told us because she's around so many cops all the time. And this is her words, not mine. They're so dirty minded. She cannot say the word come in front of police officers that she works with. I was like, when I got in the car, I was like, wait, so is she a cop? Like she was just very confusing the way that she carried herself and talked about law enforcement and working with them all the time. I mean, if you work with them so much that you changed the words that you use when you train in your business, that's working with them a lot. Now tell me your next interaction with Tina Fry, Victoria and or Cypress Arrow once you saw that video. Um, I called Cypress Arrow um, immediately after watching the video and um, the owner answered and we had a conversation. She, um, I told her that I received a video and she wanted to know who sent it to me. And I wanted her to know that it does not matter who sent it to me. The video was not Photoshopped. The video is real. So after, after being questioned about the authenticity of the video or where it came from, um, what happens next? What, what, what went on on the phone next after that? Um, she told me that she was sorry. She blamed it on her husband dying and her not being there as much and that she was firing people. Um, she asked me who was the person in my video with my dog and I told her I did not know but I would surely find out um she texted me later asking me again who sent me the video and I said you know you should worry about the abuse not who sent it I said by the way it was your daughter on the video did you fire her and she responded and said um she told me that Victoria was sick and that she would um discuss it with her and what were the results of the uh, discussion that she said she was going to have with her daughter? That was my last communication with Tina. Your focus is now on getting your pups better. Yeah. And I mean, absolutely making sure that um, everyone knows to never trust her again with their dogs and to work with the law enforcement in whatever way that I can to for this case. The best thing to come from this is for them to admit that they were wrong and for them to commit to um, being advocates for people not to treat dogs like this and that it was not okay and that they just spend their time trying to fix what they did. Um, as far as her place or the company, um, I think that it would be awesome if it was turned into like a place for abused animals to go and get rehabilitated and stuff of course not by them but by do you, someone do you think that you've heard that i'm sure that um allegations of past uh abuse have been uh, been swept under the rug um, absolutely do you think these allegations will be swept under the rug no no why is that you know the darkness can only hide for so long the light will come out and I think that the light has overpowered the darkness and I do not think that this evil will prevail. Um, I do not think that this is going to be swept under the rug or that she's going to be able to continue to do this.